Hello everyone, here we are again in the Air 4 bubble and with me today we have Robin Asia Good Good Lovely and we are carrying on with our Vipers work on Kenzuki's Kingdom but this time chapter 8 we're getting towards the end of the story we're in the last third of the story and this is a crucial chapter now you might have heard of the place Nagasaki before, but by the end of this chapter you will certainly know where it is and what, why it is so renowned. And the questions we're looking for in the first part of this chapter are, why did Kenzuki hide from the American soldiers on page 122? How did the orangutans help Kenzuki survive alone on the island? How did Michael get to the island in the first place? Why was Kenzuki angry when he found Michael and Stella? What does Kenzuki make from berries? So, here we go. Mm. Chapter 8. Everybody, everyone dead in Nagasaki. I was overjoyed. I had found a part of me that I thought I had lost forever. Now, Kenzuki said, beaming at me. Now, you happy person, Luxan. I happy too. We go fishing. I tell you very soon where I find this ball. Very soon I tell you everything. Little fish not so good now, not so many. We need big fish, sometimes from deep sea. We smoke fish, then we have always plenty of fish to eat. You understand? The outrigger was a great deal heavier than it looked. I helped Kenzuki drag it down the beach and into the sea. This very good boat, he said as we lifted Stella in. This boat never go down. I make myself very safe boat. He pushed us off and jumped in. I never ceased to be amazed at his extraordinary agility and strength. He rowed with a single oar, standing in the stern of the boat, more as if he was punting. Very soon we were out beyond the shelter of the cove and into the swell of the open sea. If we go back, here we are, here's the boat. And here's Kenzuki with his single oar, pole, guy in the boat along, Michael Stella. So, clutching my beloved football and with Stella at my feet, I sat watching him and waiting for him to begin his story. I knew better than to pester him by now. The fish came first. We baited our lines and settled silently to our fishing. One over each side of the boat. I was burst into asking him about the football, about how he'd found it, but I dared not, for fear he would clam up and say nothing. It was some time before he began, but when he did it, was well worth waiting for. Now I tell you everything, McSan, he said, like I promise. I am old, but it is not long story. I am born in Japan, in Nagasaki, very big town by the sea. I grew up in this town. When I a young man, I studied medicine in Tokyo. Soon I am doctor, Dr. Kenzuki Agawa. I am a very proud person. I look after many mothers, many babies too. I first person many babies see in world. Then I go to London. I do studies in London, in Guy's Hospital. You know this place? I shook my head. Of course, I sp learned to speak little English there. Afterwards, I came back to Nagasaki. I have beautiful wife, Kimi. Then I have little son too, Michia. I am a very happy person in those days, but soon war comes. All Japanese men are soldiers now, sailors maybe. I go to Navy, I doctor on big warship. A fish tugged on his line and took his bait, but not the hook. He went on as he rebaited his hook. This war, very long time ago now, I did know something of a war in Japan. I had seen it on films, but I knew very little about it. He shook his head. Many die in this war. This war, very terrible time. Which war do you think they're talking about? World War Christian? Not World War I. World War II, yes, the 1939 to 1945. Many die in this war. This war, very terrible time. Many ships go down, Japanese army win many battles, Japanese navy win many battles, all Japanese very happy people. 
Like football, when you win, you're happy. When you lose, you, you're sad. I go home often. I see my Kimi and my little Michia in Nagasaki. He grow fast, always already big boy. We all very happy family. But war go on long time. Many Americans come, many ships, many planes, many bombs. Now war is not so good for Japan. We fight, but now we lose. Very bad time. We are in big sea battle. American planes come. My ship is bombed. There's fire and smoke, black smoke. Many men burned, many men dead. Many jump off ship into sea, but I stay. I am doctor. I stay with my patients. Planes come again, many more bomb bombs. I think I am dead person this time for sure, but I am not. I look all around ship, all patients dead, all sailors dead. I am only person alive on ship, but engine is still going. Ship moving on her own. Shh. She go now where she wants to go. I cannot turn wheel. I can do nothing, but I listen to radio. Americans say on radio, big bomb fall on Nagasaki, atomic bomb. Many dead. I'm a very sad person. I think Kimi dead. Michia dead. My mother lived there too. All my family, I think they all dead. Soon radio say Japan surrender. I so sad I want to die. He fished in silence for a while before he began again. Soon engine stop, but ship not go down. Big wind come, big storm. I think I die for sure now, but sea take ship and bring me here on this island. Ship come on to beach, and still I am not dead. Very soon I find food. I find water too, also. I live like beggar man for a long while. Inside I feel bad person. I think all my friends dead, all my family dead, and I alive. I not want to live. But soon I meet orangutans. They very kind to me. This very beautiful, very peaceful place. No war here, no bad people. I say to myself, Kenzuki, you very lucky person to be alive. Maybe you stay here. I take many things from ship. I take food, I take clothes, sheets, I take pots, I take bottles, I take knife, I take binoculars, I take medicine. I find many things, many tools also. I take everything I find. When Kenzuki finishes, not much left on ship, I tell you. I, I find cave, I hide all things in cave. Soon terrible storm come and ship go on rocks. Very soon she go down. One day American soldiers come. I hide, I not want to surrender. Not on an honorable thing to do. I'm very afraid to. I hide in forest with orangutans. Americans make fire on beach. They laugh in the night. I listen, I hear them. They say everyone dead in Nagasaki. They very happy about this. They laugh, I am very sure. I, I very sure now I stay on this island. I go home. Soon Americans, they go away. My ship underwater by now, they not find it. My sh ship still here, under sand now, part of island now. The rusting hull I had found that first day on the island, so much was beginning to make sense to me now. A fish took my line, suddenly almost jerking my rod from my grasp. Kenzuki leaned across to me. It took many minutes of heaving to bring the fish to the surface, but between us we managed to haul it in. We sat back exhausted as it floundered at the bottom of the boat at our feet. It was massive, bigger even than the biggest fish I'd ever seen. The pike my father had caught in the reservoir back home. Kenzuki dispatched it quickly, a sharp blow to the back of the neck with the handle of his knife. Good fish, very good fish. You very clever fisherman person, Mika. We good together. Maybe we catch more now. But it was many hours before we caught another though it did not seem like it. Kenzuki told me of his life alone on the island, how he had learned to survive, to live off the land. He learned, he said, mostly by watching what the orangutans ate and what they did not eat. He learned to climb as they did. He learned to understand their language, to heed their warning signals, the darting eyes, the nervous scratching. Slowly he built a bond of trust and became one of them. By the time we made for home that evening, there was three huge fish in the bottom of the boat Tuna, I think they were. His story was almost finished. He talked on as he rode. After Americans, no more men come to my island. I alone here. Many years. I not forget Kimmy. I not forget Mika. But I live. That Then year ago, maybe, they come. 
very bad. People, killer men, they have guns, they hunt, they shoot. I sing to my orangutans, they come to me when I sing. They are very frightened. They come all in my cave, we hide. Killer men not find us, but in forest they shoot. You told me name, gibber monkeys. They shoot mothers, they take babies. Why must they do this? I'm very angry. I think all people kill a people. I hate all people, I think. I not want to see people again. And we'll take a break there and carry on in the next video.